Morning and welcome to the channel. It's been a long time no see, but uh, Marley have updated the e bike motion app, and I'd like to go through what they've changed and uh, tell you what's new and what they've uh, improved. So I'm going to put it on the screen, it should come up around here, and then I'm going to talk you through it and go through it while I'm going through it. So here goes. Right, so it should have uh, come up on the screen now. <coughs> and what I can uh, firstly see is that it looks a lot more professional. I mean, it looked quite basic, the uh, old app. And the, uh, there wasn't much on it. As you can see, I'm connected to my uh, e-bike, uh, a bit again. And uh, at the first, the full, full first uh, front screen, you've got uh, obviously at the top connected to your bike. A picture of whichever bike you should have. Uh, and obviously your battery, uh, internal battery, at the minute mine's 100%. And it's saying, they're saying I should have about a 55 mile range. That's obviously dependent on what weight you are and uh, what uh, you, how much hills you climb and stuff like that. And uh, how much you have the, the, the level 3 on, level 1, or if you don't have any on. So obviously the range will uh, differ, but as obviously the battery drains from your ride, I imagine that range will change and sort of like give you an estimated guess of uh, you know what what you should expect to get. Now at the bottom here, as you can, uh, uh, total activities. Uh, now I've only ever done two activities by using this app, so at the minute it's only showing I've done forty miles, and it obviously tells you there I've done. 19 miles with level 1, uh, no miles with level 2 and the 21 miles with level 3. So if you are using the activities, I'll just click on the activities at the bottom, you've got right across the bottom you've got my e-bike activities, you've got the bottom what will obviously start to uh, record your activity, the settings and then profile. So if I go into activities, uh, you can see here the two uh, what I logged using the app. Now I usually use Garmin uh, Connect using my uh, Garmin computer so I, I don't usually use this app but it just shows that this is sort of like they've improved this from the old app because this was really basic on the old app and it does look a lot more uh, professional and uh, it'll give you, it looks like it does give you a, few, a bit more uh, information. Obviously this was one of the rides you know, I've just clicked on it and it obviously shows it's low difficulty, it shows you me, uh, my route <coughs> my total ascent and uh, my average speed total distance in miles and the time uh, you can obviously click onto these these will tell you speed profiles uh, and stuff like that, and then the third one is the bike uh, total consumption in watts average consumption so all this sort of stuff was not on the, the old app I, I don't remember seeing anything like this and this does look a lot more professional and uh, they have improved the app, app a great deal on using it for activities uh, next we're going to go on to uh, e-bike options now this is you can do several things here motor map at the top that's obviously what you've got uh, this looks the same once you click into this is this what it, uh, what it did look like on the old app uh, that's how I have mine set up on custom I have it on 40% uh, level 1 2% uh, level 2 60% and uh, level 3 100% obviously the different ones if you go on to eco you can see there you get 30% level 1 42% level 2 and uh, level 3 65% urban is what urban is what comes if you buy the bike straight off it will be automatically custom setting to urban so just to let you know obviously level 3 is sat at 90% so you, you're you not getting the full 100% if you just keep if you don't come onto these motor maps and change it to whatever you want because this is what the bike comes with uh, it comes under urban uh, so you get 40% level 1 70% level 2 and 90% level 3 
sport is higher up you get higher percentages for level one you get 60 percent level two you get 80 percent and then obviously level three you get 100 percent like i said i've mine at custom i have uh 40 percent 60 percent 100 percent uh so that's the motor map uh last connected that's obviously probably that's just obviously showing you where the bike is uh so if you do i suppose if you, your bike does get nicked that it'll show you your last point of where it was connected uh which is i suppose if it's it's been nicked it's just going to show you where it was so it might not be perfect uh for thefts and stuff like that i do have uh an apple uh, tag hidden on my bike so that's how i do it uh let's go to the next one engineering mode i'm almost certain you actually have to be an engineer to do much of that but it does sh it does show you a few things there a little bit slower obviously your serial number the mileage the range obviously like i said it's only showing you what i've used the app on that so that's not really letting me know but it does tell me how many charges i've done the cycles i've done 46 cycles not bad considering i've had it a year and three months and i've only charged it 46 cycles you're talking i think you get the panasonic sonic battery inside it lets you do 500 500 charges and you're still getting 90 percent of the capacity that's what they say and uh, so that's absolutely brilliant if you can get 500 charges and still get 90 percent of your battery capacity i'll be well happy because i've only done 46 uh, cycles at the minute other than that the bike's obviously charged and obviously you can get a few more bits and details there temperatures at eight percent at the minute that's probably good to know because especially in will, uh, winter conditions i wrap my battery uh, with a large uh, insulated quilt when it's stored in my garage if you start in your house you're probably fine but if you're in a, if you start in a cold shelter maybe uh, have it uh, wrapped up uh, but like i said it looks fine uh e-bike information that's obviously the uh, my about the details of my bike the model the activity date the vin numbers all that uh, and battery data at the bottom that's just obviously going through the cycles again uh, status all okay that's good joystick data controller data battery data that looks all similar to like what was already on the app and you can unlink long link at the bottom so that's e-bike options uh, you've also got to connect to hr now which i don't think was on the old app either and now uh, you can connect obviously there you can link your pulse meter or whatever to it if you are doing your activities it just looks a hell of a lot smarter uh, app and they've done a lot of work on it it does look better i'll just set off uh, an activity so the middle button what's flashing red and white in the center if i click on that i've obviously started it off there it's telling me the under it so you could have that on your bike connect it you know get a, a thing on your phone connect it to your bike and obviously that'll give you your speed your average speed your heart rate if you're connected to, if you've connected a heart rate and monitor it your distance you've done your time your battery and your range it's not it's actually not quite it's not actually too bad uh you and you can obviously add things so i'm going to stop that because obviously i'm not on a ride at the minute and obviously you can connect your health data looking at it to uh as well and obviously settings that's just the uh usual thing yeah so guys that's the app uh it is a lot seems a lot more professional what they do what they've done with the app it does look a lot better and uh yeah i'm, I'm gonna have to give it a try out and let you know how it goes but if you've got any questions on it please uh put it in the comments please like these videos i do apologize i've not been on the bike for a while the weather has been terrible and then i've had the, the the bug what's been going around so i've had a bad chest but i will be out soon 
and uh, I'll leave some videos here. This is a review, a 12 month review I did. I'll put it around here and then I'll put one when I went up to the late district uh, on the bike and show you here. Have a watch of them, see what you think and comment on them if you like them. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.